Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Israel, Mosai, and Christ bless. I'm Captain Mattathias. I'm Officer Losai. All right, so we're back with another 15 minutes with the captains. Um, today's topic is a question we get a lot in 1 John 5 and 16, all right? Not going to read it yet, uh, but it's going into a sin unto death, okay? It says, if your brother fall, pray for him, but if he commit a sin unto death, don't pray for him. All right, so we're going to get some understanding on that today. All right, give me the book of uh, 2 Ezra, chapter 7, and start at verse 36. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 36. Come on. Then said I, Abraham, prayed first for the Sodomites. He did what? Prayed first for the Sodomites. Prayed first for the Sodomites. So, for example, if somebody dies in the sin of sodomy or homosexuality, they, that's a sin unto death, right? The wages of sin is death. But Abraham says right here that he actually prayed for the Sodomites. So that raises a question. What exactly is he talking about? Uh, in First John, when we get over there, read this again from the top. Verse 36, then said I, Abraham prayed first for the Sodomites mm -hmm. and Moses for the fathers that sinned in the wilderness. You see that? So for the fathers that sinned in the wilderness. All right. From there, let's go to uh, the book of James. All right. I want you to start at verse 13. James chapter five and verse 13. Come on. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Mm hmm. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Right. So it's going to pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for your brothers. That's a good thing. Okay. Any infirmities, um, as we read in Second Ezra, if they in the midst of sin, pray for them anyway. Uh, verse 16. Verse 16. Come on. Confess your faults one to another mm -hmm. and pray one for another. You see that thing? Confess your faults. So if you battle with lying, if you battle with alcoholism, with lust, it says to confess those things so we can pray for each other. Okay? All right. From there, let's go to the book of Acts 13 and 38. All right. Meaning what? If you, for those out there who have dealt in um, homosexual activity, who have been a whoremonger, who have been um, abusive of alcohol or drugs, this is the scripture for you right here. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 38. Come on. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, mm -hmm. that through this man is preached unto you for the forgiveness of sins. Undo, uh, to this man, meaning that man is Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of sins. Watch this. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. Right. All that believe is going into all of those who keep God's commandments. Now you're justified from all of those sins. Meaning what? If you were a homosexual, if you were a whoremonger, hey, you're justified. You're delivered from those things. Those things ain't going to be held against you no more. All right. Um, from there, let's go to the book of Matthew, the 12th chapter. I want you to start at verse 31. The book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 31. Come on. Wherefore, I say unto you. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. Right. All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven of men. Watch this. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. shall not be forgiven. Right. It says the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, that's not going to be forgiven. I want you to read that verse again. Verse 32. Verse 32. Come on. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. It shall not be forgiven him. So it says if you speak against the Son of Man, which is Christ, it said you'd be forgiven. All right? That's blasphemy. 
But it says if you blasphemy, uh, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, that sin is not going to be forgiven, okay? Meaning you can't change the outcome, okay? Uh, Matthew 26, and I want 74. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse 74. Come on. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus. So what's going on right here? This is when Christ uh, was delivered up, okay? And you had a sister saying, Peter, he was with Christ. So in that split second, Peter got carnal. He got carnal, said, hell no. Hell no, that's not me. That's not, I, wasn't with, I wasn't with him. All right? He didn't even realize what he was doing because he was just, he was like in a defense mode. You feel what I'm saying? But once the car crew, he realized, dang, Christ just told me that. So that's an example. That's speaking against the Son of Man or Christ, okay? All right, from there, give me Revelation chapter 16 and verse uh, 9. The book of Revelation, chapter 16 and verse 9. Watch this. And men were scorched with great heat uh -huh. and blasphemed the name of God. And did what? And blasphemed the name of God. Come on. Which hath power over these plagues. Uh -huh. And they repented not to give him glory. And repented not to give him glory. Just like today, all of this co coronavirus or these uh, tempests, these tornadoes, uh, these earthquakes, these floodings, all of that, they still refuse to give God the glory, all right? They say Mother Nature. They say that God is a white man. They say that Christ is a white man. They're saying all of these things. They're blaspheming, and they don't want to repent, okay? Keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 4. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Hebrews 6 and 4. The book of Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 4. Come on. For it is, pos for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. All right, so it says... Those brothers and sisters who were once would have understood the truth according to the scriptures. Okay, read it again from the top. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened mm -hmm. and have tasted of the heavenly gift. Meaning what? They understand that the promises of, is for the Israelites. The covenant is for the Israelites. Meaning right. they understood what it took to get to the kingdom of heaven. Read on. And were made partakers of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and have tasted the good word of God. Read. And the powers of the world to come. Come on. If they shall fall away. To renew them again unto repentance. Unre to, um, to renew them again unto repentance, read. Seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. And put him to an open shame, read. For the earth which was drinketh in the rain that cometh off upon it and bringeth forth her herbs meet for them by mm -hmm. whom it is dressed, receiveth blessing from God. But he... Excuse me, but that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected. It says, but he that which beareth thorns and bri briars is rejected, read. And is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Whose end is to be burned. So meaning what? If you fall away, that means what? You, you had the true understanding, but now you say, I don't believe that anymore. That's null and void. That is called blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. And that right there is a sin that you're, you can't change the judgment of, okay? Thus saith the Lord. We just read it, okay? Go to the next scripture for me. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 14. Now, I want y'all to pay very close attention to this. Watch this. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Right. That's why it's very important to continue in what you have learned. So what? You can't go to the left and you can't go to the right. Read it again. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. Come on. And has been assured of knowing of whom that has learned them and that from a child thou has known the holy scriptures right as from a child you've known the holy scriptures meaning since you came into the knowledge of the truth remember the scripture says be like children all right be born again and remember who taught you that i can say for a fact before this truth i didn't know what the new moon was right. i didn't know how to keep the passover right. so i remember who the most High god put the spirit on to teach me that mm -hmm. and i have to hold fast to that thing i can't be what my ears can't be peeking to some new doctrine over here right you understand the bible commands you to not do that thing all right give me the book of second timothy chapter 4 verse 1 the book of second timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 come on i charge thee therefore before god and the lord jesus christ mm -hmm. who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom read preach the word and be instant in season 
out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Watch this. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. That's what's happening in this day and age. All right. You have a lot of people blaspheming the Holy Ghost. All right. They're not enduring sound doctrine. The doctrine is to keep God's commandments in the faith of Christ. All right. Read. But. After their own lust. So they're saying to hell with the laws of God. And now they were clinging to their own lust. So they can blaspheme, blaspheme the Holy Ghost. Saying the Sabbath does. You don't no longer have to keep the Sabbath no more. Which it doesn't say in the scriptures. That is called blasphemy against the Holy Ghost brothers and sisters. Right. Read. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers. Having itching ears. And the Bible tell you not to do that. The Bible say remember who taught you and continue in that doctrine. That's what the Bible says, all right? Next scripture. Go ahead. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, and verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world. All right, so after we made it through all of our trials and tribulations of this wicked place, come on. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come on. They are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning you see that your latter end is going to be worse than what you were before you even came to the truth okay uh from there give me romans 16 and 17 that's why this law is in place brothers and sisters say you can't tell me who to talk to we're not telling you who to talk god's telling you who you can and cannot talk to it's right. for a reason right. read what you got the book of romans chapter 16 and verse 17 come on now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions that cause divisions according to the doctrine come mm -hmm. on and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Which ye have learned. Read. And avoid them. Do what? And avoid Keep them. Keep the communication. Avoid them. No, avoid them because if you have those itching ears, if you keep reading down, you're going to get drawn away as well from there. Give me the book of uh, 2 John. 2 John chapter 1 verse 10. Watch this. The book of 2 John chapter 1 and verse 10. Come on. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine you see that it says if anybody come to you bring not this doctrine come on receive him not do what receive him not don't receive him read into your house uh-huh neither bid him god speak don't even say shalom you don't have nothing to say to them right they don't have nothing to say to them come on for he that bideth him God excuse me he that biddeth he that biddeth him Godspeed Come on. is partaker of his evil deed. You see that? If you bid him Godspeed, now you're partaker of that evil deed. Okay? Read on. I'm sorry. Uh, next scripture. Go to the book of um. <coughs> sheesh. Go to the book of Psalms 139 and 20. Watch this. Psalms chapter 139 and verse 20. Let's see. Let's see what God calls you if you decide to speak against his scriptures. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 20. Come on. For they speak against thee wickedly, uh -huh. and thine enemies take thy name in vain. You see that? It's called an enemy. You now become an enemy of God. Read. Do not I hate them? So if God hates you, okay, wicked people, we're supposed to feel the same way, okay? We're supposed to hate as well, but righteously. Right. I'm going to show you that. Read on. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieve with those that raise up against thee? That rise up against thee, come on. I hate them with perfect hatred. That's, this is perfect hatred according to the Bible. It's not talking about go get arms or uh, start a hate campaign. No, no, no. We got to address the evil. All right, the most high God hates them uh, right now because they're blaspheming him. Hey, we got to feel the same way. Read verse uh, 22 again. Verse 22. Come on. I hate them with perfect hatred. Come on. I count them mine enemies. My what? Mine enemies. Mine enemies. <laughs> yeah. First John chapter 2 verse 18. Read that. The book of First John chapter 2 and verse 18. Come on. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, mm -hmm. whereby we know that it is the last time. Hey, at that time, the Pharisees, Sadducees, and the scribes, they was Antichrist. They hated Christ, mm. okay, because Christ came and took away their show. No longer were they getting all the sacrifices. No longer was any, uh, the people answering to them no more. Christ came and took all that away, and they hated Christ for that thing, okay? Mm. Read on. Verse 19, mm -hmm. they went out from us, but they were not of us. So you're going to have people, like it says in Galatians uh crept in unawares mm. okay you're gonna have brothers and sisters that's fellowshipping with us but they really not a part of us okay read that verse again they went out from us 
but they were not of us. Uh -huh. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt have continued with us. That's what y'all don't understand. When people manifest themselves, that's who they really were the whole time. And you idiots out there who want to keep talking to them, mm -hmm. you're going to get the same judgment with them. Right. Read. Have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Exactly. Read on. Verse 20. Come on. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Watch this. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, uh -huh. but because ye know it, and no lie is it of, of the truth. Right. He's saying y'all know the truth. Y'all understand what the scriptures are saying. Come on. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, uh -huh. he is an antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. If you say that there's no Sabbath day, you deny Christ because in the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, it says that Christ is the Lord of the Sabbath. Right. Okay? So that's showing you deny Christ right there. Read. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. Uh huh. But he that acknowledged the Son. Half the Father also. Come on. And Christ was the word made flesh. Right. Meaning what? We still got to keep God's commandments, man. Read. Let that therefore abide in you, mm -hmm. which ye have heard from the beginning. You see that? Stay in the doctrine which you learned from the beginning. Read. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. All right. First John chapter 5 verse 16. So let's read this. Going into that sin unto death. Watch this. The book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 16. Come on. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death. What is that? Homosexuality, getting high, fornication, whatever it may be. Read it again. If any man see his brother sin a sin which is not unto death. Come on. He shall ask and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. Right. He shall ask in prayer. All right. Pray for them. Read. There is a sin unto death. Uh huh. I do not say that he shall pray for but it. But there's a sin unto death. Hey, when brothers are switching the doctrine, when brothers is now saying you got to keep God's commandments, mm. you don't pray for that. Right. That's blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Read. All unrighteousness is sin. Uh huh. And there is a sin not unto death. And there's a sin not unto death. Those are the ones that you could repent for. All right. And with that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.